What is going on, Anime Revolution? Ryuzak MK7 here from Anime Revolution Productions, as well as That's Bridging, here with a quick update today on what's been going on. Infinite Stratos of Bridge Episode 4 is going to be on delay for a little bit because I lost some of the files in order to make the episode. So I gotta get on that and find the files and everything like that, and it's gonna take a while. Not to mention I'm gonna be finishing up high school in the next couple of weeks, so yeah, that's kind of a bit of a dilemma. Hopefully I'll have the episode out by late June, uh, early July, at the latest. Also coming very soon, That's Bridging is gonna be releasing its new episode of Angel Beats Abridged. If you want if you want to go see the episode, subscribe to That's Bridging in the link below in the description box. We're going to be thinking about hosting a live stream party in order to um, get people hyped up for the episode, so please subscribe to That's Bridging in order to find out when the uh, release day is going to be so you can join in on the live stream and chat with everybody, figure out what we do, and just have a lot of fun watching the episode. And last but not least, I want to speak a little bit personally on this subject. As many of you know, or for the some of you that don't know since you might be living under a rock or something like that, yesterday on May 26, 2012, marked the return of Toonami on Cartoon Network. Well, I guess it should be on Adult Swim this time. After receiving so much hype from the April Fool's joke of bringing Toonami back, people of Cartoon Network and Adult Swim finally got their heads out of their asses and decided to bring back their biggest moneymaker in forever, which is, of course, Toonami. Another good thing that I liked is they decided to bring back the most popular times, which happens to be the third generation. Now, I like that stupid four generation that we left off with when Toonami finally went off the air. Also, now due to the fact that Toonami is now on Adult Swim, that means that there's not really that much of censoring of anything like that. This Toonami has a lineup of some of the usual Saturday uh, night anime that you would see on Adult Swim. They're continuing on with Bleach, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Ghost in the Shell Standalone Complex, as well as Cowboy Bebop. But they also added two more anime in there in order to mix things up a little bit. The first of which is Dead Man Wonderland, and the second one is Cash and Sins. Both of the anime seemed very, very good to me. Dead Man Wonderland had kind of a dark approach to it, but I still kind of like it. But I just have one question about it. I know the main character is supposed to be like weak and everything like that. Why is it that Greg Ayers has to play all the usual weak, timid guys in anime? I am still a fan of Greg Ayers, but I'm just saying, come on, give the guy some more credit. The second anime is Cash and Sins, which I thought was pretty good. Another thing that actually kind of blew my mind was this was my first time watching it, and I kind of noticed that the guy playing the main character of Cash and happened to play Salt J. Kimberly in Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. It's amazing how this guy goes from a solidary hero to a freaking badass psychopath. Very, very interesting. For the new and revived Toonami, I can't believe it's back. I am happy that it's back, and I hope it stays there for many, many years to come. Hoping and praying, hoping and praying, hoping and praying. For all you guys that did watch the re-airing of Toonami on May 26th, I have to ask, what did you think of it? Be sure to tell me in the comments section below, or you can go to the Anime Revolution Productions page where I'm going to be posting the question, and you can comment on that question. Also, if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the Anime Revolution Productions Facebook page. That way you can get so many updates about what's to come, how the episodes are doing, what kind of new series we're going to be doing, when we're casting, things like that. So on that note, I'm out of there you guys, but instead of saying get chance of luck like I always do, I'm just going to quote my good buddy Tom from Toonami on this one. Stay cool. <laughs> Oh,